Hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. It is just about warm enough that I can start riding my e-bikes and my e-scooter again. Uh, and I went out to recharge my e-scooter and the headlight doesn't work on it. So I need a new headlight. So uh, I got this one to review. This is made by Prasky. That's P-R-A-S-K-Y. Uh, I looked at this and I like the features on it because it can be used as a headlight. It has a bright light, it says. Fairly long uh, charge time. And it can also be used as a flashlight. And a lot of times I need to take a headlight's fine, but I need to be able to take a flashlight down if I'm working on something on the bike or something else, or if I'm on a trail or camping or something like that. I want to use it as a flashlight. So this is a multi use unit here, uh, designed for e bikes or scooters or can be used for camping. So this is the box it comes in. Uh, it says this as a uh, strong light mode. Uh, the, on the high beam, it will last about two and a half hours. On the medium light beam, it'll last three and a half hours. And on the low light mode, it'll last about six hours. It also is a USB uh, small power bank, so you could use it to charge your phone up enough to make an emergency call or something like that if needed to, or to recharge like an MP3 player or something like that you might have. Uh, it says it has an aluminum alloy body, uh, super bright, multiple modes, easy mount, and uh, it has a power bank function, IP65 water resistant, uh, long run time, and LCD display. So let's open this up. We'll see what's in the box. Uh, I did have did take it out just for a second to look at it. it does come with an instruction manual. Here is the light. And one thing I noticed is it does have a hefty feel to it. It is an aluminum casing, and it looks to be well sealed, so it's not going to get damaged by the uh, weather. I like the aluminum casing. I don't want a plastic light on my bike because where I ride off-grid and off-road a lot of times, a plastic light would end up being broke apart. Same with the mount. The mount is an aluminum mount, something that I always look for for my bike gear because I do a lot of off-road riding. I don't want something to be broke. Uh, the mount seems very stable. It's screwed on, not glued on. Uh, it does have a USB port and USB-C port down here at the bottom. Like I said, this can be used as a small power bank if you just needed to charge up a phone uh, for an emergency call. So you break down on the road or something, need to call somebody and you find out your phone's dead. Uh, you could recharge it enough to make a phone call from this. Now, the light function on this, it has just the one button on top, but it has some pretty good function. I won't show this right in your, your eyes here. But it has a, a bright that's on bright. And I will put this outside on my uh, scooter to show you how bright it is. There's the medium light. There's the low light. And then if you double click it, you get a fast strobe. So the case and, and manufacturing all looks real good. It does show at the top of it. It does show at the top of it. It has an LED reading, so you can see how much charge is left in this, so you know when to recharge it. It, it does come with the USB to USB-C charge cable, so you can use this cable to charge up the battery that's in this, and that you can use this same cable to uh, charge up most cell phones probably use about that same amount. It looks to be standard USB-C port uh, cable, so you could use the power bank to charge up something that uses USB, uh, like your cell phone or an MP3 player or something like that. Comes with the cable. Now, now it also does come with a tail light. It's a small tail light. Uh, the button's right in the middle of it here. You click on that, it gives you a uh, like a kind of a circular pattern to get more attention, like a warning light, a uh, different pattern light there for your tail light. And uh, there looks like a, a, a another different pattern, a uh, flashing pattern, strobe, or off. So it gives you a few different functions on your tail light. It gives you the mounting bracket for the tail light and for the headlight. The uh, bracket for the headlight is aluminum. That's one of the things I look for. Uh, it is not cheap plastic. It is the clamp-on style. It has a screw-on bolt. Appears to be aluminum. Pe appears to be fairly well made. That you just slide onto the mount, and then you release that button, and that holds it secure so it's not going to come off. But if you want to take it off your bike to use it as a flashlight, you just push on the button, and you can slide it off and then use it like a flashlight. All right, so I'm going to go put this on my scooter. Okay, so here you can see the Prasky headlight or flashlight mounted to my scooter uh, handlebars. It did uh, tighten up really well, uh, fits these handlebars well. And uh, the mounting bracket is, is fairly fairly simple. And then, like I said, you can also remove this by sliding it forward or backward. You can remove the light 
or slide it on and lock it. It does seem to be very solid. It's not going anywhere. Turn the light on. We'll see how much light we have there. That's bright. That's on bright. Medium and low. And then it also has the strobe light functions. I think it's a well-made product on Amazon. If you're looking for a decent headlight uh, for your scooter or e-bikes or one that can be used as a flashlight, looks like it'll do, looks like it'll do the job. All right, folks. Have a great day.